Hello students. In this video, we will be talking about our chapter 2, Fundamentals of Partnership Firms. The subtopics to be covered are Difference between charge and appropriation Difference between profit and loss account and profit and loss appropriation account Journal entries regarding profit and loss appropriation account and the format of profit and loss account and profit and loss appropriation account. First, we'll talk about the difference between a charge and an appropriation. A charge is an item which is allowed in case of profits or in case of losses. These are the items which are shown in the profit and loss account. For example, all the expenses which you used to write in the profit and loss account last year like in class 11 on the debit side of PNL account are all charges. For example, salary to a manager will be allowed no matter whether the firm earns profits or losses. Other examples of charges are rent paid to a partner, interest on loan advanced by a partner, etc. Appropriation on the other hand is allowed only in case of profits. These appropriations are shown in profit and loss appropriation account. For example, interest on capital to be given to a partner will be given only if the firm earns profits. Similarly, salary to a partner or commission to a partner will also be allowed in case of profits. Transfer of profit to general reserve will be done only in case of profits. So appropriation is allowed only in case of profits. If there are losses, then such appropriations are not allowed. Now let's talk about the difference between profit and loss account and profit and loss appropriation account. First of all, we have studied in class 11th that a profit and loss account shows us our net profit earned. So you have to remember that profit and loss account is prepared after we prepare the trading account. After we get the gross profit or gross loss and it is transferred from trading account to the profit and loss account. This profit and loss account helps us in determine, determining the net profit. On the other hand, profit and loss appropriation account is prepared after the profit and loss account. It starts with the net profit or net loss and it shows the various appropriations of net profit that is the distribution of net profit for the accounting period amongst the partners. In case of profit and loss account, it is debited with the expenses and credited with the income. In case of profit and loss appropriation account, it is debited with the items of appropriation of profit such as salary, commission, interest on capital to a partner, transfer to reserves, etc. And it is credited with the items of income being debited to partner's capital account or current accounts such as interest on drawings. Profit and loss account is not guided by the partnership deed. Whereas the profit and loss appropriation account is guided by the provisions of Indian Partnership Act 1932 or the partnership deed. Profit and loss account follows the matching principle where the revenues are matched with the expenses and the net profit is ascertained. In case of profit and loss appropriation account, it does not follow the matching principle. The revenues are not matched with the expenses. Now let's talk about the journal entries relating to the profit and loss appropriation account. The first entry is regarding the transfer of profit from profit and loss account to profit and loss appropriation account. Now if you remember, the profit always comes as a balancing figure on the debit side of the profit and loss account. So from the debit side, it is transferred to the credit side of PNL appropriation account. Therefore, the journal entry is profit and loss account DR to PNL appropriation account. The next entry is regarding the transfer of loss from profit and loss account to profit and loss appropriation account. Now, since the loss appears on the credit side, Therefore, PNL account is credited 
and it is transferred to the debit side of PL appropriation account. Therefore, our journal entry would be Profit and Loss Appropriation Account DR to Profit and Loss Account. The next entry is for allowing interest on capital. Since interest on capital is an expense for the firm, hence it is debited, and the respective partner's capital or current account are credited. Ultimately, this interest on capital being an expense is transferred to PL appropriation account. Now, why this interest on capital is transferred to PL appropriation account and not the PL account? Because interest on capital is an appropriation and all appropriations are transferred to PL appropriation account. The next entry is for charging interest on drawings. Now, since interest on drawings is an income for the firm, therefore it is credited and respectively the partner's capital or current accounts are debited. Interest on drawings being an income is transferred to the credit side of PL appropriation account. Therefore, the second entry is interest on drawings account DR to profit and loss appropriation account. The next entry is for partner's salary or commission. Salary or commission being an expense is debited since the partners get it. So therefore, partner's capital or current account is credited. Again, on the same logic, salaries and commission being an expense are transferred to the debit side of PL appropriation account. Therefore, the second entry is for the transfer of the salary or commission to PL appropriation. For the transfer to reserves out of profit, if there are profits, then some amount may be transferred to reserve. The journal entry for the same may be profit and loss appropriation account DR to reserve account. For interest on partner's loan, in case the partner has given loan to the firm, that interest is an expense for the firm since the firm has to pay that interest to the partner. So therefore, the journal entry would be interest on partner's loan account DR to partner's loan account. The second entry would be profit and loss account DR to interest on partner's loan. Now I would like to draw your attention to a different parameter here that interest on partner's loan, although it relates to a partner, still it is transferred to PL account and not PL appropriation account. The reason is that interest on partner's loan is a charge. We have to pay the interest to the partner whether we earn profits or whether we go in losses. Now, since it is a charge, therefore it is debited to profit and loss account, not profit and loss appropriation account. The next entry is for the transfer of credit balance of PL appropriation account. In case when you balance the PL appropriation account and you get the balancing figure on the debit side, that is the divisible profit. So, therefore, the entry is PL appropriation account DR to partner's capital or current account. For transfer of credit balance of PL appropriation account, if the balancing figure comes on the credit side, it means there is divisible loss. For the divisible loss, the entry would be partner's capital or current account DR to PL appropriation account. Now let's look at the format of PL account. Since you are already aware about the format of PL account, in this chapter you will be given certain few entries relating to PL account. As you already know, that on the credit side the net profit is shown, and on the debit side the net loss is shown. Now, various charges which may be given, charges means those things which are allowed in case of profits also, in case of losses also. All the charges will be mentioned on the debit side. I've written here few managers commission, rent paid to a partner and interest on partners loan. All these three things are charges. Then the balancing figure if on the debit side would mean the net profit and if it comes on the credit side, it would mean the net loss. Either net profit or net loss will be the balancing figure. 
which will then be transferred to the PNL appropriation account. Now let's look at the format of PNL appropriation account. If you look on the credit side, by profit and loss account, net profit subject to appropriations. This profit and loss account means the profit that has been transferred from the PNL account. On the debit side, you have interest on capital, partners' salaries, partners' commission, and transfer to reserve, all the appropriations. On the credit side, you have interest on drawings, which is an income for the firm. The balancing fig figure would be the profit transferred to the partner's capital account. Thank you so much for your cooperation. I hope the concepts are clear to you.